In Onshape, the Loft command allows you to create geometry by connecting faces and sections to each other with a smooth transition. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a part studio. I've got one part that consists of a single extrude. I want to create a loft. The way that you do that is by clicking on this icon over here. And when I do that, it opens up the interface. Here you can choose whether you want to create this as a solid or a non-solid. And this will create a new part by default. When I click my first face, now we see that we have the selection under the profiles. Then I will left click on the next section. You can start to see a preview of the geometry. The option went from new to add, so it's going to add it to part one. I could choose new again if I wanted it to go into a separate part, but I'll do that later on. Let me continue selecting my different sections. Here is the third one. You can start to see a preview of the geometry and it's bulging out in a little bit of a way that I don't want. I'll show how to deal with that in a moment. I will select another section and another section. You can see how the shape is adjusting as I add more sections in here. And so there I've got my first, I don't know, one, two, three, four, six or seven sections in here so far. And there is another section that I want to pick. It is right in the middle of the geometry. Let me move my mouse over the model and then choose select other from the right mouse button menu. Now allow me to get to the section that I want. When I click on that, you'll notice that the preview goes into red. This indicates that there is an error. And I believe that the problem I'm having here is because my loft is intersecting itself. So let's use the X to remove that option and we get the preview again. And so let me go to more of a top view. You can see that I'm getting this bulge here between the first and the second sections. I can start to deal with that by changing the start and end profile conditions. Here we have the start profile condition and I can go to the drop down list. There are four different choices here normal to profile, tangent to profile, match tangent, or match curvature. I will choose match tangent so it will match the tangency of the existing geometry that is in here. And so it smoothed it out a little bit. I'm going to choose for the end profile condition. Let's choose normal to the profile. And you can see that it adjusted it a little over there. There is this magnitude value, and the magnitude value is sort of like the strength of matching the tangency at the start and the normal to profile selection at the end. You can increase this number if you want to. You can see that there are a variety of different options in here. I'm not gonna show all of them in this video, but to make it more closely match the shape that I want, you can define a path. You can select different edges, curves, and sketches that will act as the center line for the various different sections. So let me pick this curve in the model. And the preview went away because it's just a portion of the shape that I need to follow. Let me select this other curve with the left mouse button. Now I get the preview and you can see that we are getting some additional intermediate sections in order to smooth out the shape. You can increase the section count in order to get it more closely to match the center profile. And you'll notice as I increase that number, the number of those intermediate sections increased. And let's see the next one that I will go to down here. Let's show the ISO curves. And the ISO curves place a mesh over your loft feature so you can see like what the shape is going to be. And just like the path has a section count, the show ISO curves has a count here as well. So I can increase this number and that way you will get a tighter mesh. But that is cluttering up the screen so I am going to uncheck the option. And like I mentioned earlier, here we have the merge scope. And so I'm happy with that first loft. Let me hit the check mark in order to create the feature. I'm going to go to my section two sketch and I'm going to hide it. And I've got another sketch in here that I want to show that is sitting in the middle of the model. 
And at this point, I know I want this to be hollowed out. Hey, let's go ahead and throw in a shell feature. So here is the shell tool and I will click on it. And then let's pick one surface to remove and I'm gonna rotate the model and get this other surface removed as well. Here we have a default shell thickness of 2.5. I'm happy with that. So let's hit the check mark in order to complete the shell feature. And actually I realized that I wanna select this entire face for my next loft. Hey, let's grab the rollback bar and roll it above the shell feature. All right, let's create our second loft. I will go to the loft command and I will click on this face. And then let me move my model, my mouse around, and then right mouse click. Let's select other. I want to get the face of this sketch. And let's add in another one. So I'll move my mouse over here, right mouse click and hold, and select other. And let's grab the face of the final section. And I actually want this one to create a brand new part. So I will choose new from up here. You'll notice that we also have the option to create this as a surface. You could also remove material or create the loft as the intersection of geometry. So this is good for what I want. Oops, I want to actually specify a path. Let's grab this curve and then this curve as well. The preview went away for a moment. Here you can see the number of sections. I can increase this number if I want to as well. So again, it will more closely match the center line path that was selected here. And everything looks great. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete loft two. And let's Scroll down, grab the rollback bar, and drag it down to the bottom to hollow out part one. Let me hide it for a second. And let's create another shell feature. Let's go click on the command in the toolbar. Let's remove this face, and I'm going to rotate my model. There we go. And remove this face as well. Let's hit the check mark to complete the feature. And let me start cleaning up my screen by hiding any other sketches that I no longer need to see. Let's bring back part one. And so now if I want to create this so that it is a single part, we can perform a Boolean operation. That is this command. And then here I can choose that I want to do a union. There are also the options for subtract and intersect. I want part one and part two to be added to one another. Let's hit the check mark and now I have a single part created. And so that's how you can use the loft command in order to create geometry in your part studio.